Good day, YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about learning in the Air Force or in the military in general. I have uh, I've talked to a lot of friends in the past or people in general who say, I joined the military because I didn't want to go to college or I wasn't ready for college. But when somebody joins the military or the Air Force, any branch, there there's a lot of learning involved. So I'm going to ask you a question. What kind of learner are you? How do you like to learn? Hands-on, visual, in residence, as a, as for example, like do you like to attend a class um, or do it online? When somebody joins the military, there's a lot of learning involved, beginning at boot camp or basic training by marching. You have to learn how to march. You have to learn the ranks. You have to know the history of your branch. So, and then it's followed by technical training, your job. You'll learn whatever your job is, hands-on, visual, in class. You get tests as well. You get to your first military installation. And for the Air Force, there's, you know, on, on the job training as well. So it continues. I love the topic of learning. I always have. But I've also learned that I'm a visual person. So I need to see and also do hands-on. That's how I learned. When I was in high school, I was in an advanced history class. I don't even know how I got into that class. And I would talk to a bunch of my classmates. I remember two guys in particular, and I would consider them nerds. These guys were brainiacs. Class would start at 7.30 and we'd be outside of the class at seven talking. And I'd be talking about sports or something and they were talking about the class, the history class. This video is going to be a little bit scattered because I have a lot of areas as far as learning that I want to talk about and share with you. So I tried out for baseball as a junior and my coach said, I'd love to have you on the team, but you have a D and because of that D you're not qualified to play. If I pick you and you have a D, you're going to be a wasted slot. So I assured him, I said, if you pick me to be on the team, I guarantee you'll have a C or better in that history class. Looking back, I got the C. Uh, looking back, I didn't understand the history because I, I didn't take the time to read the book. And that's the key. Read the book, go to class prepared, and uh, learn in class as well. So now that I'm older, I love history. I love world history. I love US history. Um, so anytime I get to travel, I'm trying to do some research before. Next week, my wife, daughter, and myself are going to Italy. And I've been thinking about what I want to film in Italy to share with you. And I had a few ideas, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to film our vacation and not talk about the Air Force or this or that. I'm just going to film and share with you what we get to see. I love to learn, like I said. Um, and there's different types of learners, like I discussed just a few moments ago. Some people say, you know what, college is not for me, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. My mom would always say back in the day, uh, either you're a good student or you're a good worker. And if you're one of those two, you're going to be fine. So going back to college not being for everyone, that's fine. Did you know that there's so many ways that we can learn? Here's my computer, and I spend time at night for the most part learning a language or learning how to play the drums. I bought a drum set a few years ago and I just jam, I, I mess around, I have fun. For me, that's perfect. Am I a drummer? No, technically I don't consider myself a drummer, but I like to have fun. And I've learned a lot just watching on YouTube or reading a book or going out to uh, an area and learning by asking questions, learning by observing, seeing what's out there. Um, in the military, as far as the Air Force, and I know other branches as well, uh, whether you're active duty or reserve or guard, there are so many opportunities as well. For Air Force members, there's the portal, and there's a section that says education. I am learning French, and I speak a little bit of basic French, which I love. My teacher used to be my daughter's piano teacher, but she's an Italian lady. And she told me earlier this year, she said, you know, you're learning French, and because you know already Spanish, it's going to be a lot easier. But here's what I recommend. That me, that I learn Italian as well. I was very excited about that. And that's what I've been doing. So I know very little Italian. I can read it. I can understand it. But speaking it, I'm, I've only been doing it for about three, maybe four months. So I'm getting there. Whereas with French, I can have a basic conversation. 
even though I know my French isn't perfect, it's not having fear of practicing that or making mistakes and going out there and doing whatever, whether it's a language, whether it's music, whether it's our job. My job this year, I've been there six months now, and I learn every single day, every week. I ask questions to clarify, to learn. I take notes. I remember being in tech school at the fire academy and the guy that sat next to me, I would pay him money because I didn't have a car to go back and forth from our apartment. He lived in the same apartment. He would sit in class and listen to the instructor and not take any notes at all. And we would drive home late at night from class. And I said, how is it that you, you capture all this? Do you have any experience with this topic or subject? And he said, no, I just pay attention in class. I envision it. And if I do that, I can understand exactly what he or she is talking about. Whereas me, I write notes, notes, notes. I highlight flashcards. I'm not saying that I have to do that with every single topic. We all have strengths and weaknesses. I think in numbers. That's a strength. Obviously, my channel is titled Your Military Money. That's how I started my channel. But if you look at the history on my channel, I'm going off track right, real quick, is those topics where I would speak about money, there's not a lot of views because most people don't want to go to YouTube to talk to an individual or listen to an individual talk about money, unless it's spending money. So I branched out, talked about the Air Force military travel, things like that, sharing my journey. But a strength for me is numbers. Does that mean I know everything with numbers? No. My daughter is a senior in high school and she's in some type of advanced math. I forgot to ask her. It's like a different language. I appreciate that she knows how to do that. However, if my life depended on solving that problem, as of right now, I couldn't do it. But would I like to go back and learn it? Yes. So learning could be in the classroom, outside of the classroom. It could be talking to someone in a conversation. It could be on a computer. It, there's a lot of ways that we can learn. What type of learner are you? The Air Force, and I know other branches as well, really support education and that's a great thing whether it's a technical trade whether it's a certificate whether it's a diploma a degree learning should never stop that's my opinion I am in my 40s I'm 43 and I hope to be learning all the way till I'm not on this earth anymore Learning is a good thing, which I love. And to me, it doesn't matter how we learn, whether it's in a classroom or outside, as long as we continue to learn every single day. I'm gonna end it with this. I was watching a show last night and I got a new uh, cell phone, which has Siri. I never had Siri till now. And uh, my daughter showed me how to actually ask Siri questions and she pops it up. So if I'm looking for a score on a game, instead of going to the website and it takes longer to look at the score, I ask Siri, hey, what's the score on the Laker game? And she answers. So the word is Mossel Tov. And I've heard this here, I've heard it there. I think it sounds cool, but to be honest with you, up until last night, I had no idea what that meant. Do you know what that means? I asked Siri, and she popped up with some information and it means good fortune. Education, the word in Japanese is chishiki. Uh, ever since I was 20, I thought that was a cool word. Chishiki, it's in Japanese. I lived in Los Angeles where you have a whole bunch of cultures and uh, knowledge is important. However you do it, continue to learn. If you join the military, I'm going to tell you this, you probably already know that if you're already in, there's a lot of learning involved and that's a great thing. So as I end, when I was younger, I thought learning was okay in the areas that I liked, whether it was sports, whether it was math, whether it was whatever. And as I got older, it's about embracing new things, asking questions. It doesn't have to be in a classroom. I hope you enjoyed this and you take care.